Hello folks, welcome. Linux Mint 21.3 Cinnamon. Uh, so today I'm going to talk a little bit about your left zone on your panel. Your panel bar is broken down by three zones. So um, your left zone is where your applications are. And I'm going to talk about group windows list today. Group windows list is a funny word and it contains a lot of settings. One of them is to make those thumbnails bigger. I'm going to double those in size. I'm also going to remove that number four and still retain those four open windows. I'll also talk about a tool that uh, if you cannot click and move these things around like I'm doing or even adding stuff from the uh, menu to this bar, if it's preventing you from doing that, we're going to talk about group windows list settings. Maybe somebody inadvertently clicked something and more importantly, I think every user should know how to do this. I'm not going to talk about all the settings and overwhelm you. I'm just going to talk about a couple of important ones. I'll also be adding labels to the open applications. And we can do that in several different ways also. I'm filming in 1080. Welcome, folks. Adjust your YouTube player accordingly, if necessary. Subscription key is above the time and date. And uh, I do have, this will be video number 445 on this new channel. So um, if you look at the subscription key next to that logo, you'll see home videos, playlists, and posts that used to be known as community tab. There's a magnifying glass next to it, and you can use a search feature on that. For keywords, I also have playlists. You can also just click videos and scroll. But 444 videos, there's a lot of scrolling. All right, so today's video, I'm going to talk about doubling the size of these thumbnails removing that number four and still retaining the thumbnails and then talk about the ability or inability to move these icons around or even doing stuff like this. If you can't, we're going to be talking about this um, thing called applet preferences configure group windows list. This may be the first time that some of you've seen this settings. And again, I'm not going to talk about all of them. I'm going to talk about what I think are, are basic and more importantly important at the same time. I want to talk about the middle section, panel and thumbnails. So starting at the bottom, enable app button dragging is on by default. If someone inadvertently turns this off, I'm going to remove some of these icons. When this is off, I cannot click and move these anymore. At the same token, I cannot click and drag this icon down here anymore. It won't let me because I have this locked. So that's, this thing acts like a lock. It, it will not allow me to place icons here on this panel bar unless I do it this way. So that is no problem, adding to panel. However, I can't click and move it again. It's stuck here until I turn this off. Then I can click and move it. And the same thing goes with that. And I can also drag that other icon, Billiards, down here too with it. Or on this side, whichever. That allows me to do that. So if someone inadvertently turns this off, then you'll have problems doing placing these icons or dragging and moving them around. So that's required if you're wanting to move around or you're dragging icons on the panel. So far, so good? Hopefully. Show window count numbers. It's a cryptic uh, kind of thing, but that means this blue number right here. There are four windows currently open on Firefox. If I don't want to see the number four, I can turn that off. I don't know why you'd would. It didn't change anything with the thumbnails. It just turns off the number. All right, um, launcher animation scale, I'm not really going to talk about. However, I will talk about button label. That would be the labels on your open applications. So I have group windows list, simple screen recorder, and four web browser tabs or four web browser um, that are open. Okay, so let me talk about the first setting, application name. Now you'll see Firefox. Then... This is kind of cryptic. xlet-sc is grouped windows list. And that one just says simple and three dots. 
you'll, you'll see three dots on all of them. Simple screen recorder, grouped windows list, and a Firefox with the four windows open. If I change that from application name to window title, then that changes to the current tab over here. So if I want the Amazon, this says Amazon on it with three dots. So that's the current highlighted tab. This now says grouped instead of that cryptic name on it. And that still says simple. Hopefully that was clear. I'm going to toggle the two. So you can see that has a different name on it now. All right. So the last one is an option in case you want to save some real estate on your panel bar, because as you can see, they're almost encroaching onto my applets. I can turn this one on. This will uh, basically just display the only focused window. So currently this is the focused window. So if I were to minimize that and then click this uh, card game, that is the current focused window, it's Klondike. And I can switch this back, even though this is, this is sitting in the background, but this is now the focused window. I'm focusing on the window, this part. This has a grayed out area. Whether I close it or not, it doesn't matter. All right. The default for button label is none, by the way, default. However, you can choose some options in here. All right, let's talk about this guy. Screen resolution. Oh, you've heard me say this word 100 times, if not 400, if you've been an avid subscriber for a long time. And this is not my first channel. I've done over 800 videos in the last four or five years. But more importantly, that previous channel is closed, but we have screen resolution. I, I usually say that in the beginning of my videos uh, for you adjusting your YouTube player, which still kind of is on the same lines as this. You, these thumbnails, you may not even be able to read. I can, but I have a 43 inch screen. Not everybody does. Some people have 17 inch screens or even smaller. So screen resolution has a lot to do with how we display these thumbnails. So now I'm going to show you how to increase the size of these thumbnails. It's done under grouped windows list. And I'm going to change the thumbnail size to largest. This again is for the web browser. It doesn't change these icons. That's done with this setting over here. And I have a different video for that. I'm talking about these thumbnails of the open windows for the web browser. I'm going to create a fifth one, right click, open up a new window. I could have also went here, here, and open up another uh, instance of that. I don't know what I'm going to use. How about Grumpy Cat? Oh boy. <laughs> Anyways, it doesn't matter what it is. I now have five of these. Now you can see the thumbnails going across the bottom end of the screen. I can clearly see what these are though on my screen. I don't have to squint in other words. If I change this to small, I will have to squint but it also gives me more real estate for thumbnails. So I could also go in between that and keep going. And maybe that's sufficient on, uh, for some folks, but I'm going to use the largest. All right. So again, that's just a setting group to windows list, thumbnails, thumbnail, thumbnail size, and I'm dealing with a web browser currently not the size of these icons, not to be confused with that. All right. So I showed the button labels, uh, show window counts, that blue number there. Don't know why you'd want to turn it off, but you can. And then again, if you have a problem with clicking and dragging, you may want to make sure that's on and nobody turned that off by accident. Screenshots are recommended anytime you play. You can also, uh, Click the hamburger menu and export this out to a file. You can also reset the defaults. Just keep that in mind, folks. Thank you for watching.